So today we're working on the flywheel. This is a brand new Luke flywheel. And the reason it looks different than most you might see is because it's been painted. Uh, aside from the actual clutch friction surface that's been taped off. A few lessons learned, nothing too major, but I figured I'd share my experience. So I wanna make sure the uh, flange of the crankshaft is clean, no grease or any uh, contaminants. And, and this is fresh, it's just been, uh, uh, it's been gone through. I replaced the pilot bearing and all that stuff. So I think there's another video for that if you're interested. But uh, first thing you wanna do is get the, the flywheel lined up with the bolt holes. And when I did this the first time, I noticed that it went right on and the holes just lined up and it wasn't even an issue. And I don't know if you can see that right there, but they're all lined up. So what I did is I started putting some bolts in They all lined up and I was happy. And then I started thinking to myself, does this thing need to be clocked in any particular direction or position? It's like, hmm, there's no pin or dowel or anything for it to line up. I just got it on the first try, so the holes all must be the same, right? Nope, they're not. A little bit of research and uh, trial and error led me to discover that these holes are not asymmetrical. What that means is they are off just enough to where if you don't have this thing clocked just right, the holes won't line up. Let me show you. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we keep the crankshaft on that flange so it doesn't fall off and, and hurt us, right? But I don't know if you can see that, but the holes are not lining up. Maybe one or two of them are, but not all of them. Let's keep rotating it the next hole let's see nope not even close on some of them that one's completely way off can you see that what about right there that looks like oh that one's lined up nope those aren't lining up those lining up nope not even close. It's only six positions, right? Well, six holes, I should say. Those lining up? Nope. Oh, look at that. Now they're all lined up. So let's get our bolts and start them back in there. Okay, so these bolts can only go in one way. We've, uh, we've already demonstrated that. Uh, the actual fasteners that you see here are the original bolts that I removed when I took off the old flywheel. I will not be reusing them. They're torque to yield bolts, which means technically they're one time use only. Can you get away with it? Probably have people, I'm sure, but I think it's not worth it. So the new bolts will be on the way. Um, hopefully today coming from Amazon, I ordered some ARP bolts. And once I get them, I'll go ahead, install them with a blue thread locker, I believe and they'll get torqued to 105 foot-pounds. So stay tuned, more to come. Okay, so our uh, flywheel bolts showed up. Uh, they come with this special assembly. Grease goes underneath the head and uh, they actually outline exactly how to go ahead and lube them and what to use for a thread locker. So we got these things all prepped. Let's go install. All right, we are back and we got our bolts. So now that we got all the hardware prepped and uh, ready for install, pretty straightforward, especially because I already had the flywheel mounted up in place. <clears throat> okay, what I have here, I'm not sure if you can see, uh, I've got, let me see if I can get this thing up close enough. I've got this pry bar wedged between the frame and the body and the flywheel. Uh, one of these teeth on the flywheel, actually uh, it's a notch that goes around the outer diameter. It's not one of the actual starter teeth. So seems like it's holding pretty good. I was able to use that for removing it, which took quite a bit of force in itself. Um, 
let's see if we can torque this thing first i'm going to start off um i just went i just went by hand and just kind of ran them down a little bit going in an alternating cross pattern cross torque whatever you want to call it um, all right star pattern i think a lot of people refer to it so okay there's that we got the torque wrench right now i only have it set to 40. on these bolts actually uh, because they got the grease under the head they're only going to 100 total so i'm going to do it in steps so i'm going to start off on this first one there's I'll go two on each one there we go skip one Okay, that's 40, all six of them are good. Let's go up to 80 now. Go in the same pattern. All right, final torque, 100 foot-pounds. I don't know if I could do it in the same position. I might have to move. There's 100. Flip around here. See if that makes it any easier for me. Six. All right. Sweet. All six of them. Oh, this thing got moved out of the way. Sorry about that. Hope you didn't lose too much quality on the on the video. So yeah, they're all torqued.